Hm. Ah, ja. Nicolas Cage is a Golden Globe and Oscar-winning American actor and producer. At the peak of his career, our hero easily earned tens of millions of dollars a year and just as easily spent them. In this video, we will tell you about the work, personal life, and financial situation of this eccentric actor. Nicolas Cage – How the Hollywood's Biggest Spender Lives and Where His Millions Are Spent Do you know about me? Mm -mm. <sighs> Nicholas Cage, whose real name is Nicholas Kim Coppola, was born on January 7, 1964 in a large suburb of Los Angeles, Long Beach in a creative family. His father, August, an Italian by nationality, was a professor of literature and his mother, Joy, who had Polish and German blood in her veins, was a dancer and choreographer. At the time of his birth, the future actor's family was already raising two sons. Our hero is from a prominent family. His grandfather, Carmine Coppola, is a composer and flute player. His grandmother, Italia Panino, is an actress. And the famous film director, Francis Ford Coppola, is his uncle. Nicholas went to Beverly Hills High School and was an active and fun guy at the time. Actually, he was a daredevil. One day, the boys started bullying Coppola because of his famous name, but he decided to teach the bullies a lesson. Wearing a leather jacket and dark glasses, he faced them in the guise of his famous uncle, making threats to smack them. Nicholas was so much in his role that they almost believed him. The boy's acting talent was shown even then. The teenager's first experience on stage was in the school play Golden Boy, based on a Broadway show. During this period, Nicholas had already started to pester his uncle to give him a role in the movie, but Francis refused stubbornly. After that, the future actor decided to make his own way into Hollywood. At the age of 17, he dropped out of high school, then enrolled in acting classes at the UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television. Nicholas worked as a popcorn vendor at a movie theater to make a living, at the same time attending various auditions. In 1981, he got a role in the comedy series The Best of Times, however, the project was closed after the pilot episode. Coppola then starred in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Our hero initially tried out for one of the major roles, for which he even lied to the producers that he was an adult, but the deception was soon revealed, and this was one of the reasons why the guy got only a cameo role. During the same period, Nicholas decided to take a stage name to distance from his famous relatives. He chose the last name Cage after the composer John Cage, as well as the comic book hero Luke Cage. In 1983, the actor starred in the melodrama Valley Girl. During filming, Nicholas lived in his car to get as much into the role of Hollywood punk Randy as possible. The movie was received very well by critics and Cage's fee was $5,000. His colleague on the set was Elizabeth Daly, with whom he was rumored to be romantically involved. But after the filming had ended, the actor's romance also came to an end. In the same year, Francis Coppola offered his nephew the role in his movie Rumblefish, which became cult favorite and brought our hero his first fame. Gee, that's tough. These things happen, Rusty James. Maybe we should go double or nothing sometime. Sit down. In 1984, Cage's filmography was enriched by three brilliant films, Racing with the Moon, The Cotton Club, and Birdie. In the latter, he played the Joy Boy Al. In preparation for filming, he demanded to pull his two teeth without anesthesia, just like his character did. During this period, the young man met with Jenny Wright at an audition and aspiring actress with whom he had a whirlwind romance. Nicholas was so much in love with the girl that proposed to her in 1986. The couple was actively preparing for the wedding, but a month before the ceremony, they suddenly broke up. Neither of them commented on this, but it was rumored that the reason was Cage's cheating, which Wright could not forgive. In 1986, Nicholas starred in the biographical drama The Boy in Blue and Francis Coppola's sci-fi comedy Peggy Sue Got Married. I love you. Charlie, what am I going to do with you? Oh boy, just cherish me. His uncle's recognition meant a lot to Cage, but he was still too demanding of his nephew. During filming, he almost fired the guy for speaking in some weird falsetto. But in the end, this unusual timbre successfully emphasized the character. In 1987, Nicholas met the actress Patricia Arquette, with whom he fell madly in love, proposing to her on the first day of acquaintance. 
The girl thought the actor was joking and gave him a whole list of wishes, after fulfilling which she would say yes. The demands included Salinger's autograph and a black orchid, but the man managed to fulfill even these difficult tasks. Patricia had to keep her work. The couple had planned to have their wedding in Cuba, but a computer glitch at the airport didn't let them buy the tickets. The girl decided it was a sign from above and ran away, asking Cage to leave her alone. In the same year, Nicholas starred in the comedy Raising Arizona and the melodrama Moonstruck, in which he played with singer Cher. Is it just a matter of time before a man opens his eyes and gives up his one? Interestingly, Cage did not impress studio executives at the audition. However, Cher insisted on filming Nicholas, otherwise she threatened to leave the project. The celebrities performed their roles brilliantly, and our hero received a nomination for the Golden Globe. Cage appeared at the premiere with his new lover, Brooke Shields, with whom he had been in a relationship for a while. The girl was a highly demanded model at the time, but a year later, Brooke's workload caused a breakup. She didn't have enough time for Nicholas, and he, in turn, was terribly jealous of his beloved and suspected her of cheating. After breaking up with Shields, the man had fleeting affairs with actresses Ami Dolenz and Maria Conchita Alonso. Nicholas met with Maria on the set of the comedy horror film Vampire's Kiss. It was released in 1988, and Cage played the title role in it, for which he had to eat a live cockroach on camera. I've become a vampire. Our hero's fee then amounted to $40,000. Soon, Nicholas began an affair with actress Christina Bolton. Many assumed that this girl would become Cage's wife, as everything seemed to be going that way. Christina moved into the actor's apartment, and in 1990, she gave birth to his son, Weston. However, after the birth, Bolton became a different person. She demanded that the man spend more time with her, even to the detriment of his career. Because of the constant scandals, the couple separated even before their son was one year old. At the same time, Nicholas took part in the upbringing of his son and, in addition to basic alimony, paid Weston and his mother $3 million a year. However, this was not enough for his ex, so she tried to sue the actor, demanding to get the house too, but her wishes were not granted. Meanwhile, Cage managed to star in the films A Time to Kill, Firebirds, Industrial Symphony No. 1, The Dream of the Broken Hearted, and the thriller Wild at Heart, in which the actor performed a few songs. By the way, the snakeskin jacket worn by Cage's character was taken from his personal closet. After filming, he gave it to his partner on the set, Laura Dern. In 1991, the actor starred in the thriller Zandali and a year later in the comedy Honeymoon in Vegas, for which he was nominated for the Golden Globe. This is unbelievable. You're unbelievable. I want to get you in that room, tear the bed spread off. Yahoo! Can I get a room? Nicholas's partner in the film was Sarah Jessica Parker, with whom he had a passionate romance, but not for long. As with his other passion, actress Lisa Stothard, whom he dated shortly before Sarah. In 1992, Cage met with model Kristen Zhang at a social event, who was 10 years younger than him. This time, it seemed that the man had found his one and only. A year later, the actor proposed to her, inviting her to an expensive restaurant. In front of the amazed visitors, he got down on one knee and gave her a diamond ring. Perhaps the wedding would have taken place, but shortly before this event, Cage's longtime lover Patricia Arquette appeared. Nicholas broke up with Kristen and did this very unkindly by announcing the breakup over the phone. The renewed romance with Patricia ended with a wedding in 1995, only this time it was the girl who proposed to legalize the relationship. Meanwhile, the actor's filmography was enriched by the films Red Rock West, Amos and Andrew, Deadfall, Guarding Tess, It Could Happen to You, Trapped in Paradise, Kiss of Death, and Leaving Las Vegas. In the latter, Cage played an alcoholic who falls in love with a call girl. To get into the character, he began abusing alcohol. Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. Maybe I shouldn't breathe so much, Terry. Ha <laughs> ha! He was also drunk on the set to make himself more convincing. For his work, Nicholas received many awards, including the Golden Globe and Oscar, and his fee amounted to $240,000. 
However, it is known that the actor didn't get paid part of the fee, which was $100,000. In 1996, the actor starred in the action movie The Rock for the role in which, together with his colleague Sean Connery, he won an MTV Channel Award for Best Duet. On this project, Cage earned $4 million. In the next year, Nicholas appeared in the films Con Air and Face Off, once again winning the award for Best Duet, but this time with John Travolta. Christ, f***ing insane. And it's a special ops surgeon uh, gave me uh, Castor's face! Before filming began, the actors spent two weeks together adopting each other's gestures and tones. The picture was included in the 100 most striking action films, and our hero's fee was $6 million. In 1998, the man starred in the thriller Snake Eyes with a $16 million fee and the melodrama City of Angels. Then his filmography was expanded with the films 8mm, Bringing Out the Dead with a fee of $10 million, the melodrama The Family Man, and the action movie Gone in 60 Seconds. In the latter, Cage earned $20 million and did almost all of the car stunts himself. I just saw 50 cars for you in one night. All right, I'm a little tired, I'm a little wired, and I think I deserve a little appreciation. By then, Cage's relationship with his wife was only formal. It was rumored that the couple lived together for only nine months and then created the appearance of a happy family for another five years, trying to fix their relationship. But in 2001, they filed for divorce. In the same 2001, the actor starred in the drama Captain Corelli's Mandolin, which earned him $7 million, as well as voicing the animated film Christmas Carol the Movie. Later, he voiced other animated films such as The Ant Bully, G-Force, Astro Boy, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Teen Titans Go to the Movies, and The Croods, for which he was paid $1 million. In 2002, Nicholas appeared in the action movie Wind Talkers with a $20 million fee, as well as in the crime drama Sunny, in which he was also a director and producer. By the way, he also produced another very successful film at the same time, The Life of David Gale. Cage also starred in the tragic comedy Adaptation, where he played a double role of the Kaufman brothers, for which he had to wear artificial overlays to look fat. This is because I'm too timid to speak to the woman who wrote the book. Because I'm pathetic. Because I have no idea how to write. Because I can't make flowers fascinating. The actor got into character well and was nominated for many film awards for his role, including an Oscar. His fee was $2 million. In the same year, the man married for the second time. His chosen one was Elvis Presley's daughter, Lisa Marie. However, three months later, the couple filed for divorce as they couldn't get along with each other. But rumors say that Nicholas never loved Lisa and married only because he was a fan of her father's work. In 2003, the actor starred in the thriller Matchstick Men and the following year in the action movie National Treasure, earning $20 million. Either way, we're gonna die. Nobody's gonna die. There's another way out. Where? Through the treasure room. Meanwhile, Cage married for the third time to waitress Alice Kim, who is almost 20 years younger than him. The man met her at his favorite sushi bar. A year later, his wife gave birth to a son, who was named Kal-El, after the comic book hero. Our hero's filmography was then enriched by the films The Weatherman, Lord of War, and The Wicker Man. Preparing for his role in the thriller World Trade Center, he spent several hours in a special tiny tank to feel the real fear of being trapped under the debris. In 2007, Cage starred in Next, National Treasure Book of Secrets, and Ghost Rider, in which he played a stunt motorcyclist. Sterilized. The bullet in water. Right. On the set, Nicholas wore a wig that took about three hours a day to put on and participated in writing the script. Then, the actor starred in the films Bangkok Dangerous, Knowing, and The Bad Lieutenant Port of Call, New Orleans, for the shooting in which he earned $2 million. In 2010, Cage appeared in the film Kick-Ass and The Sorcerer's Apprentice with a fee of $12 million. 
and in the next year, his filmography was added by the film Season of the Witch, for which he learned to horse ride and seeking justice with a fee of $12 million. The actor received $7 million for the thriller Trespass, $6 million for the action film Drive Angry, and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance brought him $7,500,000. For the last two pictures, the actor was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Mock Award. These were not the first or last nominations with the prefix worst, as they were followed by some more unsuccessful films. These included the action films Stolen, Dying of the Light, Outcast, Tokarif, Dog Eat Dog, and USS Indianapolis Men of Courage, the thrillers The Frozen Ground, Left Behind, and The Trust, the horror film Pay the Ghost, the dramas Joe and the Runner, and the comedy Army of One. Cage's best-known work during this period was the 2016 biographical thriller Snowden. A program that could differentiate between foreign and domestic, encrypt every signal we weren't targeting so it would remain private. It was elegant, streamlined. It was the best work I ever did. Then Nicholas divorced Alice Kim after 12 years together. The family was quite happy and was even considered a model one until the actor raised his hand against his wife and she, in turn, started to cheat on him. In the following years, Cage starred in the films Inconceivable, Vengeance, A Love Story, Mom and Dad, Arsenal, The Humanity Bureau, Looking Glass, Between Worlds, 211, on the set of which he broke his leg, and the horror film Mandy. For his role in the latter, our hero received a Saturn Award nomination, while the other works were mostly flops. In 2019, Nicholas appeared in Color Out of Space, Grand Isle, Kill Chain, Running with the Devil, Primal, and A Score to Settle, in which he was also a producer. In the same year, the actor got married again. His sweetheart was makeup artist Arika Koiki, who was 32 years younger than him. The marriage took place in Las Vegas, but four days later, Cage applied for its annulment. As it turned out, Nicholas was drunk at the time, so he was not aware of his actions. His newly minted spouse demanded compensation, claiming that such a short marriage has damaged her reputation. In 2020, our hero starred in the action movie Jiu-Jitsu and in the following year in the comedy Willy's Wonderland, where Cage's character did not say a word, and the drama Pig. Its budget was so small that the authors could not afford a trained pig, and the one that appeared in the movie attacked Nicholas and bit him several times. The actor also played in the title role in the film Prisoners of the Ghost Land, the shooting of which took place in Japan. That's where the man met his fifth wife, Riko Shibata, who is 30 years younger than him. They legalized their relationship in 2021, and a year later, his wife gave birth to Cage's daughter, Augusta Francesca. By the time the daughter was born, the celebrity already had four grandchildren from his eldest son. In 2022, Nicholas starred in the series Butcher's Crossing and the film The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, in which he played himself and also acted as a producer. I can't be with Gabriela because that would put a target on her back. Wait, you seriously didn't realize that we liked each other? You're in the CIA! I'm not in the CIA. I'm a goddamn actor. You know that. Right now, the actor continues to actively appear in films. This year was the premiere of the western The Old Way, and recently a comedy horror film Renfield was released. In it, Cage appeared as Dracula. The shooting of The Retirement Plan, Sympathy for the Devil, Dream Scenario, Arcadian, and Long Legs has already been completed. Over the years of his career, our hero has advertised many companies, including the Casablanca clothing brand, the Chinese car holding company Bayek, the Japanese manufacturer of slot machines Sankyo, and others. Today, the celebrity's wealth is estimated at $25 million, despite the fact that Cage used to be one of the highest paid actors. His work in the movies earned him at least $200 million. Nicholas spent all of his enormous capital. First of all, our hero is known as one of Hollywood's most generous donors. For example, he donated $2 million to help children affected by war and $1 million to the victims of Hurricane Katrina. At the peak of his career, Cage was buying up expensive real estate. These included a $9,400,000 Gothic house in San Francisco, a $6,500,000 mansion in Los Angeles, a $15,700,000 house on the West Coast in Rhode Island, and an $8,500,000 villa in Las Vegas. 
In addition, the actor bought a house shrouded in ghost stories in New Orleans for $3,500,000. Almost $5 million went on the purchase of a townhouse in the British city of Bath and another $6 million for an 18th century castle in the neighboring village of Midford. Our hero also owned an uninhabited island in the Bahamas worth, according to various sources, from $3 million to $6 million. Nicholas also spent his money on a huge fleet of cars, which numbered more than 50 models. For example, rare Rolls-Royce, Bugatti, Jaguar, Porsche, Ferrari, Triumph, and Lamborghini, one of which was previously owned by an Iranian sheik. He also owned 30 motorcycles, four yachts, and a private jet. Cage is known for his passion for comic books. His collection includes 400 vintage editions, including the debut issue of Superman. Nicholas also spent his money on very unusual purchases. For example, $276,000 went for a dinosaur skull, $126,000 for two albino king cobras, and $135,000 for an octopus. Besides, Cage decided he needed a shark, a 3 million year old meteorite from Mars, and a pyramid. He plans to use it as his tombstone. And that's not mentioning the antiques, treasures, and jewelry he was showering on his lovers. In 2008, Cage's real estate began to lose money due to the crisis. The actor's financial situation also deteriorated because of numerous divorces and lawsuits with his manager. Soon, a tax debt of $14 million was also formed. Then, Nicholas was forced to sell his assets at auction. What's funny is that his favorite comic books were the most profitable investment. Just the sale of an exclusive issue of Superman brought him $2,160,000, even though he bought it for only $110,000. Amazingly, in 2021, the once fabulously wealthy actor was mistaken for a homeless person when he went on a drunken rampage in a Las Vegas restaurant. Fortunately, the celebrity's situation has now improved. Do you think Cage can regain his status as one of the highest paid actors? Thank you. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.